Yeah, and first of all, it's great to meet you guys. I love all the points you're bringing up. But and a couple months back, I was in Nashville and Tennessee, and I came across Andrew Jackson's uh, memorial. And I looked at Andrew Jackson, and a lot of people hate him because he's one of the biggest slave owners presidents of America. But I understood from that moment why he had a lot of slaves, <clears throat> and I understand the logic behind it. Now, number one, if you look at a lot of these Negroes, they're not productive for themselves. All they do is come on this app, they swear at people. This Negro called Tyreek Nishida is a scammer, just like Omar Johnson, talking about they're gonna build the community, build schools. These Negroes don't bullshit, you know what I mean? Number two, also, the second thing also I wanted to say was that, you know, when you look at a Negro, especially a lot of them on this app, you know, they're very lot of people. Like, especially if you look at Tyreek right now, he's probably meditating, but like whenever a black person you know, gets mad, all you need to do is just, you know, hum with them, right, in their songs. And they're, they're Negro spiritual, that's how you basically interact with them. So, you know, I used to have offense against black people, but I found out naturally, they deserve to be enslaved. They're natural slaves. I used to hate Andrew Jackson, but then I looked at him, I said, I understand you, Andrew Jackson. I know where you were coming from. Or when George Washington, Benjamin Franklin, Benjamin Franklin, and Thomas Jefferson sat down together and said, Black people are three fifths of human beings. I thought that was racist to begin with, but I understood the logic behind it. They don't deserve to be human beings. These people are chattel slaves. They don't speak their own language. How the fuck are you going to talk to Africa? I'll enslave you and grab you by the neck. Whenever I see a black person, my keychains start reaching it, you know what I mean? The reason why my keychains start moving is because it wants to go on their neck and enslave them. Now, obviously, I can't do that. United Nations is going to come. You know, United Nations obviously passed laws against human rights, so I won't do that to them right now. But if this was the past, I would enslave them. So for a Negro, for a slave, for a freaking monkey, Jamal, who still is my African name, you know what I mean, Tyrone, right, Akuna Matata, to come at me and to say negative things about African people, I'll wrap it up by saying this, right? And, you know, there was a there was a good poem that one, got, one, got, and one man once made, and it was that, why do black people... What do you call a black man hanging off a tree, right? Branch manager, that's what you call him. And I'll, I'll wrap it up by saying one more thing. That, you know, I have nothing against black people. Obviously, I've been to Harlem before. I've met black people. I've been to Bronx. I've danced with them. I did a little hip-hop dance, right? I had a lot of fun. I got that Negro vibe. But generally, when it comes to these Negroes, I hate them with passion. This isn't all black people. I'm just talking about Negroes, and not black people. And I'm done talking about I love this conversation. very productive. And you guys continue. Thank you, brother, professor. Um, you know, like I said, everyone should follow him. He's a very intellectual brother in our community. Great points you shared. I agree with you 100% wholeheartedly. There'll be no declaration of war. Whether you realize it or not, you are at war. You are presently being bombarded by silent weapons and quiet wars. They won't chuck missiles at you. They won't ram tanks through your front door. No, it's no longer full frontal assault. They have other methods to depopulate you. On top of redlining your schools and your hospitals with subpar education and healthcare, besides putting you in food deserts, making you eat sugar. They deny you decent housing and safe neighborhoods. They deny you business loans and access to capital, put all the abortion clinics in your neighborhood. Then they fund the women and lock up the men in a welfare industrial and prison industrial complex, all in plain sight, using politics, while flooding our already shithole neighborhoods with anti-black immigrants, to rule over us, exploit us, and undermine us. And some of them look just like us. And don't forget, Turn your sons into your daughters and your daughters into your sons. Confusion. <laughs>